Hey guys, welcome to TCR, Sid here. Um, today I'm going to be giving Neil Diamond, our little boar kid, uh, an injection of the CDT, um, or sometimes referred to as CDNT, uh, injection today for his first shot. Um, sweet Caroline will get a booster. She was given a shot already um, before I got her. She, she'll need a booster when he's ready for his second, for his booster as well. So that timing will actually work out well. But today, this is just Neil's first shot. And the reason you want to give this to the goats is because uh, there's a bacteria in their gut that will cause them to get what's called overeating disease. And this will also protect against them getting tetanus as well from cuts or scrapes or eating weird stuff, you know, that they, they tend to do. So, uh, they get two mLs uh, when you give it to them. And... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you how we do this today. This is to be given uh, sub -Q, subcutaneously, which means under the skin, not intramuscularly, I am. Uh, so you will just be pinching a small piece of skin. The, the best spot is gonna be back here behind his uh, front leg. There's a little extra skin there, uh, kind of almost like under his armpit, if you were. And we're gonna go ahead and give this to him. You do wanna make sure that you've got your clean needle and clean syringe. You don't wanna be reusing your needle and syringe um, with multiple goats. You wanna change it out every time. So we're gonna get this all put together and we're gonna go give him his first shot and see how he does. I'm gonna show close up of taking it out. You wanna shake it up first, mix it well, and then you want to take the needle into the center portion of the vial, and you wanna go in at a little bit of an angle so that you don't take away the um, the rubber stopper with it. So once you get that in there, I'm gonna flip it up, make sure all the air is out of that. We're gonna double check that in a minute. And I'm gonna pull this to two mLs. Actually, I'm gonna pull it a little hair over so that I can get some of the excess air out. Flip it back over, pull that needle out carefully. And I'm just gonna push it just a little bit. I'll make sure that way I don't have any air in it and it's ready to go. And I'm right at the two ml mark. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap back on this so that we can go out and give him his injection. Let's go. You got a little bit extra milk today. Give a shot. Okay, so as I said, I'm not gonna give Sweet Caroline a shot today because she's not due for another month for her booster. Um, he is five weeks old now, and he's ready for his first shot for this. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna make it real easy for me, isn't he? Um, so you do want to find a spot here. Some people have better luck back here, um, but up here is gonna be nice. I can just grab a little bit of skin. Okay, so I'm gonna pinch this area right here, kind of squeeze a little bit. Get that right in there. He didn't even wince. And just rub it a little bit afterwards. You'll kind of feel it right there. It'll it'll kind of well up under the skin a little bit. So just kind of rub it. He didn't even seem to phase him. He just he's like, whatever, you're milk. giving me milk. <laughs> this was a little bit of an extra feeding because he's I down to three, three meals a day again. And you do want to make sure you discard of your syringe Whoa. needle properly. Um, but that's it. And you of course, watch the area to make sure that there's no infection or reaction. So you kind of want to, you know, keep an eye on your animal afterwards. Okay, there's no more. There's no more. That's it. That's it. Um, <laughs> but that's how you do it, and it's important to give your goats this shot um, when they're young. Um, she, like I said, she'll be ready for her booster. Um, a lot of people also recommend giving it to pregnant does uh, 30 days before they deliver to help boost the kids' immune system with it, but. No. There's kind of, you know, mixed things on that, no. so that's kind of up to you. Me? That's it. Quick, easy. He was a perfect little patient. 
he he did really well. He doesn't seem to be mad at me at all or even notice that I did anything. If you give them a bottle, if it's a bottle baby, that's a great way or give them their favorite treat so you can kind of sneak up and do it. And again, you don't want to inject it too deeply. This is just in that pinch of skin. Make sure you're of course not injecting yourself. Um, and then once you're done with your injections, uh, you do want to go ahead and throw away that vial. At least the, the brand that I have is not uh, a uh, multi-dose vial. It's a single use. Um, once the seal's broken, it's no bueno, no more. So if you've got a whole herd that you're doing, make sure you just got enough syringes. Um, again, two mLs, nice and simple, nice and easy. Thanks for watching us give Neil Diamond his first shot. We'll come back in a month and do another shot for him and another shot for her. So Neil and Sweet Caroline will get stuck again. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell so you get the notifications. Come here. Frankie, come here. Neil Diamond. Come here. Neil. You gotta hold him. Sit, sit first. And you're gonna have to put him across your lap. Sit on the, Frankie, okay. listen. Sit, sit on, on the, the stump. On the stump. Uh, Neil, go. I love you, but go. And get him on your lap. Come here. Come here. Come on. Oh, okay. oh. Yes, right. you're a big boy now. Okay. Okay. Neil, guys. Okay. Give, let him have it so that he stays still.